how can we place a proper watermark that will repeat across all of the pages of your document in Apple Pages. We've got two choices really. We can add some image that we're going to use as the watermark, like a logo, or we can just use the text tool at the very top here and then type in whatever you want to type it in, like copy or draft. All right, you can edit this text using the format menu on the right side. We can make it a bit larger, maybe. So increasing the size of the text, color red, and we can reduce opacity of it as well. If you want this like semi-transparent, that's also possible. Simply move the opacity slider in the style area to get the semi-transparent text. All right, and now with that, we need to make sure it does not affect existing text. So we want to check the arrangement to be sure that this non-arrangement, so it can kind of float across the page without affecting our content. So that's the first step. If you like, you can also apply some kind of rotation here. That's a very popular way do, doing the watermarks. And now the problem is it can be still selected, plus it didn't create a copy on page two or page three. So if your watermark is ready, simply head to the top menu this time, arrange, section layouts, and we click here, move object to section layout. We can also decide that we can modify those objects in section layout or no. Actually, this is switch off by default. So I cannot kind of click on this watermark and take a look. Second page, there's a watermark as well. Page number three, there's a watermark as well. We cannot click on it, we cannot modify it, but you can always go to arrange and section layout, make a layout object selectable. And after that, you can click on it, you can move it around, you can make your changes, all right? So I can move, can move it to like top, right corner, we can change rotation of it and take a look. All of the watermarks on each page are affected. Then, don't forget, switch it off so you will not select your watermark by mistake. All right, so that's how you set up watermark in Apple Pages. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.